Hi, welcome to this video in which we will discuss how we can use solar energy to our advantage in the case of large scale disaster. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better more sustainable world so please do subscribe to our channel. So without further ado, let's begin. Even after surviving any large scale disaster event, people are at risk because their shelter has been taken away, communication lines are down, access to water, food and medical aid is limited, if at all present. And it can be difficult to say the least for disaster management teams in the most organized and wealthiest of countries to overcome the scale of the challenge. In such situations, a little bit of preparation can go a long way in not only saving one's own life but also the lives of others. In this video, we are going to reveal how one can increase the chances of surviving an apocalyptic event through the use of solar energy. In the case of a large scale earthquake or a pandemic, a nuclear fallout or anarchy, one of the best places to take refuge is out at the sea, especially if one has to stay put for a long duration of time for the situation to normalize. But this comes with a condition that one has to be on a particular type of boat that is extremely safe and stable. One of the safest vessels on water is a self-riding boat. It is a type of boat that can rotate itself back to an upright position even after capsizing. Many lifeboats are self-riding boats. The principle behind the self-riding boat is that the center of gravity is very low on the hull while the center of buoyancy is relatively higher. So even when the boat tilts to the side, a writing talk brings it back to its equilibrium position. Such boats can survive tsunamis if they don't get damaged by smashing into objects and can withstand rogue waves. Once the safe space is sorted, we can now turn our attention to the solar survival kit. One of the first things on the list for long-term survival plan is access to drinking water. There is plenty of water out there in the sea, but to make it drinkable, desalination is required. The simplest method of desalination is evaporation and condensation. Ocean water has up to 35,000 parts per million of dissolved salts in it. Fresh water on the other hand has less than 100 and this is where solar energy comes into action. To make water portable, floating solar stills can be purchased. Note that lifeboats are generally equipped with solar stills. Solar still available for $200 can produce from half a liter to two liters of drinking water a day depending upon the weather conditions. Cheaper ones are also available and one can design their own solar still using clear perspex and a small life boy. To maintain a line of communication and receive information, electricity is required and therefore the second item in the survival kit is a solar PV charger. There are a number of portable solar PV chargers available in the market for a price that is easy on the pocket. These waterproof foldable chargers require small storage space and are available in power capacity of 40 watts and even more. They will easily charge a cell phone and keep the GPS system and radio running. Now as we already know that for survival food is vital and one of the advantages of waiting out the post apocalyptic period in the sea is that there is abundance of food and plenty of eating options if one doesn't mind seafood. Food has to be prepared though which requires cooking at high temperatures. Therefore the next item in the kit is solar cooker. There are plenty of solar cookers available in the market. Some are simple in design and can be easily made at home. Others have more complex designs such as the presence of a compound parabolic mirror in them but are more effective. Solar cookers can take longer to prepare food than cooking on flame but it is an option that does not require one to carry fuel. One has to bear in mind though that solar cookers are most effective in direct sunlight. During cloudy weather when solar radiation is mostly diffuse, they become ineffective. To be prepared for cloudy days, there should be edible food in store and for this purpose one can dry or dehydrate fish meat to prevent spoilage and store it for long term. For drying food, one can make a solar air heater. Note that on this channel, we have already shown you how to make a simple solar air heater in under an hour and for less than $5. The link for the video is in the description section. 
While out at the sea, it can get extremely dark and some form of lighting will be required for functioning in the late hours and for avoiding hazards. And so the next item in the survival kit would be solar garden lights. Now these solar garden lights have LED lights in them which require minimal energy and are several times more efficient than incandescent lamps. Over time, the prices of LED lights have dropped and now one can purchase solar garden lights for under $5. Bear in mind that most of these solar garden lights come with reasonable solar PV cell and a good quality LED but do not have a good battery in them. Therefore try to purchase solar lights which have higher quality battery inside them or get more spare batteries. Moving on, for meeting sanitation requirements hot water is useful and in light of this the next item on the list is a solar shower bag. The shower bag comes in capacities of around 20 liters to 30 liters and is available for less than $10. They can be hanged if the sun is low on the horizon or can be laid flat on a surface if the sun is high. These shower bags can heat up water to temperatures above 70 degrees centigrade. Warm water has several uses that are not just limited to cleaning and sanitation. Warm water can be used for soothing aches as well as heat storage. Lastly, the propellant system for the boat can be powered through solar PV panels. This has been done before. In fact, a boat called Planet Solar has circumnavigated the globe purely on solar energy. It would require a large area of the boat to be covered in solar panels though. However, through intelligent design, if these panels are hinged to the boat such that their angle can be changed, then not only they can track the sun better to produce more energy but can also double up as sail if wind conditions are suitable. So I hope with this video I've demonstrated how important solar energy is for us and it can help us survive not only on land but also out on the sea in times when one is cut off from conventional sources of water, food and power. If you learned something from this video then do give it a thumbs up. Please comment to add your own ideas of what you would like to add to this survival kit. The comment section is open for your suggestions. Thank you for your attention.